Hello and welcome. My name is Alexander Moreira, and today we're going to be solving walking along a fence. In this problem, we're given a polygon such that every side is either parallel to the x or y axis, and we're given several cows who both have a start coordinate and an end coordinate on this polygon. And our goal is to determine the minimum distance traveled by each cow to get from their start coordinate to their end coordinate. So for example, you can see an example polygon here and suppose a cow had a start coordinate at S and their end coordinate was at E. There are two possible paths. The cow could walk upwards to reach uh, E in seven steps or the cow could walk to the right to reach E in nine steps. So obviously walking upwards is a better path, it's shorter, but there's a problem here. We have 100,000 cows, so we need to be able to instantly calculate the distance traveled for each cow, right? We can't afford to sort of simulate each cow independently. So what can we do? Well, we can label the different positions on the polygon from zero up to the perimeter minus one, right? So I've just walked along the polygon here and labeled each position some number uh, corresponding to the different distance I've traveled so far. So in my starting position, I've traveled zero, then one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Once I've labeled the polygon in this fashion, given any two coordinates, I can instantly calculate the distance between them. It's just going to be the first value minus the second value mod the perimeter or the second value minus the first value mod the perimeter. So applied to our example uh, of S and E here, we can see that this formula instantly calculates the distance traveled. Right, so uh, the nine corresponds to the path going to the right, the seven corresponds to the path going upwards. So for any cow, we're just going to want to choose the minimum of these two values. All right, we're now ready to code up the question. So we're going to start by reading in our input. The first input is N and P. This is just the number of cows and the number of posts. So for each of our posts, we're going to read in a coordinate pair corresponding to one corner of our polygon. And for each cow, we're going to read in two coordinate pairs, the start coordinates and the end coordinates. Then we're going to initialize a 1000 and 1000 or 1001 by 1001 grid. This is the smallest grid that can store all possible polygons. So the X coordinate of the polygon ranges from 0 to 1,000, and the Y coordinate also ranges from 0 to 1,000. So this is just the smallest grid that guarantees all polygons are going to fit. So now we're going to try to take the posts and go from the coordinate pairs to an actual drawing on the grid that looks sort of like the image we have up here. So we're going to begin by creating a time variable that's going to keep track of the total distance we have traveled so far. And then we are going to loop over all posts. And for each post, we're going to look at the current post and then the next post that we're trying to get to. Note, we're taking the next post as i plus 1 mod p because the last post has to connect back to the first post, so it wraps back around. Once we have done this, there are several cases. So the first case is that the current x-coordinate is smaller than the next x-coordinate. If this is true, we're going to loop from the current x-coordinate to the next x-coordinate, increasing x by 1 each step. Then we're going to mark the current time at our current location in the grid, and then we're going to increase the time variable by one to note that we have traveled another unit of distance. So we're going to just mark a location, increase time, mark a location, increase time, and repeat that over and over. Uh, the next case is that the current x-coordinate is greater than the next x-coordinate. 
This is almost identical to the previous case. The only difference is that we're going to be subtracting one from each X coordinate. So uh, we start with a large X and then we uh, decrease it downwards. And then there are two more cases corresponding to the same thing, but for Y coordinates. So these are all the cases. Um, only one of these cases will be true for any pair of points, right? So either the X coordinates will be the same or the Y coordinates will be the same. This is guaranteed by the fact that the posts are, uh, the sides of our polygons are parallel to the X and Y axis. So only one of these cases should be happening for any pair of consecutive posts. Once we have drawn the polygon on our grid, we're ready to loop over all cows and determine how long it takes for that cow to reach its destination. So we're going to loop over all of the cows in cows and we're gonna calculate two things. We're gonna calculate the value uh, stored on the grid at its starting coordinates. So that's cow zero one, and we're going to find the time value of its ending coordinates. So that's cow two, cow three. Once we have these two values, we can apply our formula in order to calculate the minimum distance traveled. And then we're just gonna print it out. So remember that's just time one minus time two mod the perimeter. So time now stores the perimeter of the polygon. So we just take the first time minus the second time mod time and the second time minus the first time mod time. And we print out the minimum of those two values. One quick note, if you're in Java or C++, the formula is going to be slightly different simply because the modulus operator works slightly differently in these languages. So in this, you're going to want to add the perimeter and then mod by the perimeter again. That, this is simply because the modulus operator is allowed to produce negative results in C++ and Java, which is not quite what we want. All right, we're now ready to submit our code to the grading server. So let's get going here. And as you can see, we are passing all of the test cases. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.